In this video, we'll talk about the terminal deoxynucleotidal transferase mediated NIC enlabeling method or tunnel assay. It's a mouthful of term, but it's very easy to understand. The tunnel assay is an analytical method to determine the status of apoptosis in a tissue or cell line. It utilizes the TDT enzyme or terminal deoxynucleotidal transferase enzyme which can incorporate a labeled nucleotide in a space of DNA damage or where, wherever there is a DNA break, it would incorporate a modified nucleotide. And generally, these kind of DNA breaks are found in apoptotic cell. So simply, this kind of analytical method utilizes the principle of DNA breaks, which generally occurs in the late phase of apoptosis. So if a cell is undergoing apoptosis, there would be double-stranded as well as single-stranded DNA breaks. So let us understand in this context how tunnel assay works. So when we add this enzyme, the TDT enzyme, which is generally found in several immune cells and required for the VDJ recombination, it can actually incorporate specific nucleotides at the 3' hydroxyl open ends. So this nucleotide which is incorporated, it can be, let's say, a labeled nucleotide, a fluorescently labeled nucleotide, or let's say a biotin labeled nucleotide, which can be later on detected by fluorescently labeled streptavidin. Also, it can be a BRDU. So BRDU can be detected by anti-BRDU fluorescent conjugate antibodies. So this is how the overall tunnel assay work. The labeling might be different, but the principle of the assay is same. Detection with the help of any kind of fluorescence method. And in this particular assay, the TDT enzyme holds the key importance. Now anyway, the cells has to be visualized under the microscope and has to be co-labeled with the nucleus marker DAPI. So here blue is DAPI and green is the tunnel staining. So it's basically a 488 uh, nanometer wavelength labeling. So anything which is green should be indicative of tunnel positiveness. So this is a tunnel positive cells. This is a tunnel negative cell. So tunnel negative cells are healthy. Tunnel positive cells are inferred as apoptotic cell. Let us try to understand with help of an example. We have a cancer cell line where we have treated with vehicle and in other set we have treated with a drug X plus vehicle. We wanted to understand whether drug X can fight cancer and can kill these cancer cells. In order to understand that we need a assay for apoptosis or an assay for increased cell death. Tunnel assay could be an appropriate assay. It is quick, easy, performable and its readout is pretty clean. So in that case we have to understand over time how the number of tunnel positive cells has increased or decreased. So if there is an increase in tunnel positive cells, that would be indicative of more apoptosis. Another way to put look at this data is to count the percentage viable cells. All the tunnel negative cells would be the viable cells. So obviously if this drug is potent and able to kill cells that are cancerous, so there would be less viable cell over time. And this is how we can utilize tunnel assay to determine apoptosis. Now there are several pros and cons of this technique. For example, it is very quick, so the staining procedure is fairly simple, experimental cost is low, and it has reliable outcome. But the cons are, tunnel assay is not programmed to understand the magnitude of DNA damage in a single cell. There could be immense amount of DNA damage or could be less amount of DNA damage. Tunnel stain give us a yes or no type answer, but doesn't tell anything about the magnitude. It cannot also report the late stage of apoptosis or it can only report the late stage of apoptosis, not the initiation phase of the apoptosis. So I hope this was useful. If you want to get more notes and flashcards, you can follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Links are provided in the description. You can support our channel using super thanks. You can pay via Paytm, PayPal or UPI. See you in the next video.